Today, I'm going to unbag and take a look at Game Fix, the Forum of Ideas. This is issue number two. I previously covered issue number one. Imagine that. And uh, I picked these up out of kind of the bargain bin uh, from uh, Noble Knight, or maybe they were on clearance or sale. But it was uh, a price I couldn't refuse because I, you know, if you know me, and I think you do, I can't resist a bargain. So um, this is a war game magazine, I guess I should say that. I mean, it, it's focusing on war games, uh, and it has a game included. It says right here, complete game included. And I don't think they came in these baggies. These are the Noble Knight baggies, but I thought I'd do an unbagging uh, nonetheless and a page through. So let's get in and take a look at these. Now, uh, they were published by company here is Game Publications Group, Inc. Uh, I think they did this Game Fix magazine, which started in 1994, uh, that had games in there, but I, I they might have had some other games as well. I think there's like a, a Rebel Yell. I don't know if that's a box game or, or what. If you're familiar with any of their other games, please feel free to comment uh, on them or, or add them to the comments below. So, uh, as I said, this is kind of a war game magazine. It was this was issue number two, November nineteen ninety four, and it was six ninety five U S. I paid much less for this, and it's really good condition too. So if the, if they ever these ever go on sale at Normal Night again, you might want to take a look at them if you're interested in this because they do have a game included. Um, the and this is a Joseph uh, Miranda game or Joe Miranda game. Uh, who does quite a bit of magazine games. I've just done a lot for uh, you know, Strategy and Tactics and uh, the other decision games uh, uh, cadre. So uh, the game including here is Crisis 2000, Insurrection in the United States. So yeah, I mean, back in 94, this was you know probably more of a uh, hypothetical topic. But, uh, you know, we've got some... Crazy stuff going on in the United States today. And then there's an, and the timing of this is interesting that I'm doing this because uh, Compass just released a game, I think it's 2040, dealing with uh, uh, a potential uh, civil war or crisis or insurrection in the United States. And, uh, and I noticed that they put a lot of disclaimers uh, out there uh, in any of the media that I've seen and some of the people that have talked about it that, you know, this isn't supposed to be political, you know, just because we use red and blue counters doesn't mean anything and whatever. I mean, uh, I don't want to get into uh, topics of, of what you can game and what you can't game because I think that, you know, we learn from history and to game something is another way to learn history, it's just like reading it in a book. So um, I'm not going to judge or go into any topics like that, but it, it you know, it, it is something we need to be mindful of. Uh, now this one is, is interesting because I mean, again, this is in 1994 looking at a crisis in 2000. So 16 years uh, in the, um, or actually six years <laughs> in, in the future. Uh, interesting. So let's look in this book and do a little bit of page view. So here's that Rebel Yell. I think this is the other game that they've done. Uh, I don't think it is a, uh, yeah, so I don't think it's a, a, a computer game. I think it's an actual board game. So this, this is a, a game that they've done, this uh, uh, game publications group. If they've done anything else, let me know. Uh, here is what's in this um Magazine. This is issue number two. The editor is uh, John Compton. Again, the, the publisher is Game Publications Group Inc. And you, like most war game magazines, uh, you would have a list of topics, or and sometimes you might have like regular features. And of course, you're going to have the rules to a game in here. So uh, we have editorial. Again, probably a regular topic. Things to come. They're talking about what they're who they're trying to sign up here. And uh, so they got Richard Berg game, Richard Berg Chicken of the Sea. So there's a little bit of a teaser for you. I'll probably be covering that uh, in one of my upcoming uh, episodes. Here's Battle Briefs. Talking about the seals. Here's Crisis 2000 by uh, Joseph Miranda. So this is probably his, 
probably an article to kind of give it a precursor. And, you know, a lot of the war game magazines do that, uh, Against the Odds, uh, all the decision games uh, type magazines like Strategy and Tactics, World at War, they usually have an article that precedes the rules of the game that kind of tell you or set up or give you context of what that game is going to be. And that's what uh, that's what uh, Mr. Miranda is doing here. So it'd be interesting to read this and uh, compare it with uh, 2020 hindsight, actually 20, almost uh, 30 years hindsight uh, on the topic. Uh Here's Clipper Chips and Sun Devils, The End of Computer Privacy, uh, from a 1994 perspective. Here is the game itself, and one of the interesting things I found, at least so far from my, my vast coverage of Game Fix magazines, actually, I've just done two, they have the rules, and then they have, like, have it annotated, so... Uh, you have the rules on this side, then you have like notes and images and stuff out to the side. I kind of like that. That's something that a lot of Euro games have done, uh, kind of have the rules and then they have kind of a summary of the rules or examples out to the side, like an annotation. And I don't know, that kind of keeps it clean to read the rules, but then you also can readily uh, get to an example of what they're talking about. And you see here's an example of the markers. Here's how to play here, crisis markers. So I'll have to definitely get into this. Uh, and this, the magazine, the, the paper is a little thicker than normal. It's it's uh, not full on glossy, but it is a little bit thicker. And that becomes uh, important when you get to the gaming components because <clears throat> the maps are not like uh, separately uh, uh, uh included in the magazine they're they're a pull you have to like unstaple and pull everything out to get the map so the maps are made of the same same stuff as the uh as these game components here so maybe that is that all the rules here so and they, they have it contiguous which i'm not i don't know if i like or continuous so it's because the rules start on page nine and go to 11 here i don't know if there are any other rules here not sure. Here's player notes. So this is uh, not necessarily part of the rules, but gives you some player notes about the game here. Then you have the map itself. That is the map to play the game. So you have these big regions here. Um, and uh, I'm always uh, have a soft spot when they include my uh, hometown. Uh, these are kind of out of order, though. Topeka is actually over here. Uh, but that's interesting. Topeka is kind of... Topeka would be kind of here instead of down here. Topeka is not south of Kansas City because I've worked in Topeka. was grew up in Kansas City. Uh, and now live uh, probably, I'd probably still be in the heartland, I would imagine. So, interesting. So we have political values, we have wilderness regions, we have developed regions, then we have cities and transportation lines. Then yeah, here are the counters, and you know they, it's it. They, they give you a, a set of die cut counters. That's kind of nice. Uh, they're you know typical thickness for what you expect for a magazine game, especially some of the older magazine games. I mean, I think these are probably fine for 1994. But you can see uh, there's a lot of information on here. You got like detention camps, and you have like three sets of numbers, mass rally, media access, all kinds of stuff there. And they are double-sided. And these are crises or crisis. These right here with those with those values on them. And that is the map. And so you're going to have to unstaple this to pull this out to play on this. Or yeah, I guess you could leave it in there, but then you're going to have to figure out how to refer to the rules without flipping over your counters. And here's more player notes. So, that, so, yeah, so the rules are continuing, so that they didn't stop at 11. You have some more rules here. And you have some more rules here. Then we have some scenarios, and there's there's, not, there's nothing here to tell you how to win. So that the rule was talking about how to win, and there's no annotation. So you got to figure that out on your own. Uh, and the, so there's like there's five, six, seven scenarios. Seven scenarios. Interesting. Then here's all your charts, and of course, with a lot of um, magazine games, you know they either try to put all the charts on the mag on the board itself, or 
they're included in here because you don't usually have a lot of inserts uh, with player aids and stuff. You got to make your own player aids. And so here is all the player aids. So here's your your charts for all the different. So here's a data conflict table, arm conflict, scenario summary, sequence of play, rebel units, all kinds of stuff here. And here's some more designer notes. So it's interesting. A lot of, a lot of discussion on player notes and designer notes for this. And we have a little article that maybe is associated with it. This is New Wars, Military versus Social. That's interesting. It'd be interesting to read this and, 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 and read it with all the knowledge we've gained from uh, 27 years uh, <laughs> of, uh, of uh, living some of this stuff. Wow, here's a real short one. The rest of the world, the battle for cyber state, cyberspace. And this is all by Joe Miranda. So this is all giving maybe some of his background for uh for developing this game here's the armchair gamer i think this is a regular feature here a little bit long article there there's an uh a little bit talking about game fix you know th these th this was a map from this was uh, alexandria from the first game that i covered i'll put a link to all my game fix stuff that i cover uh, as a running total here's the map for this game and this looks, looks looks really interesting. I hope I got this one. I I, I picked up a few of these uh, when I um when I, when they were on sale or bargain. So, and here's what their form of ideas. This is I guess the mission statement for Game Fix. It's topical. It's political. It's professional. It's thought provoking. It's fun. So there you go. And then they have an article uh, an ad for a computer game there. So there you have it. That is Game Fix. Uh, issue number two with uh, Crisis 2000 as the game inside there. So if you guys, or if guys, gals, whoever, if you've uh, picked this up, played this, love to know your thoughts on this specific game, but also on Game Fix in general, what did you think about that series? I presume it's defunct now. I mean, this was 94, and I, I don't know how many years they went. I don't know if they went for a full year or... Um, cause it looks like they were, had an, intended to do like a 12 issue, uh, run, you know, so, you know, ha have a subscription for a year, uh, and give you a, an issue a month. It looks like what they were tr thinking about going for. So anyway, uh, that's what I have for you today. Love to know your thoughts on any of this stuff. And I uh, just want to thank you for stopping by. And the best way I know you stop by is, you know, drop me a comment, talk about, Crisis 2000. Talk about present day. Be sure to keep it civil. We don't want to have a civil war. So um, anyway, thanks again. Take care. Thanks for watching!